Hi, I'm Rebecca with Great Lakes Ace Hardware. I'm here today to show you how to do a small DIY project for the spring. Today we're going to be making a, a rain gutter planter to hang outside of your house and all of the products seen here can be found at your local Great Lakes Ace Hardware. So first you want to paint your gutter and your gutter ends. Um, whatever color you choose. Today I chose a sea foam, a Rust-Oleum sea foam. Um, you're going to let it dry and then you're going to want to cut them to the length that you need. And you can choose any length. You can choose to do three, four of these. Today we're going to do two. Um, I've cut these in 32 inch pieces. Uh, with just a, a regular saw that you probably have at your um, house, your garage. If not, pick one up from Ace. So cut the second piece here. And this is a special PVC saw, so it cuts through plastic a little bit easier than um, your reciprocating saws or your uh, just your hand saws do. Uh, the next step you want to do is make your holes for your roping. For this project, I've chosen a quarter inch roping, but you can choose any size that you'd like to choose. Um, when you decide on the drill bit that you're gonna do, you may wanna do it a couple of sizes larger. I've chosen um, an Irwin 1130 seconds to go with my quarter inch rope. So then you're just uh, measuring about four inches from each side and drill your hole. You're going to want to do that on all of the pieces that you cut. Um, again, you can use as many pieces as you want in this. It can be two, three, four, whatever suits your area. Once you finish drilling all of your holes on the side, you're going to want to drill um, two holes on the bottom on both sides of the gutter. The same diameter from, from the edge that you did your side holes. And you don't have to have your tape measure for this. You could just kind of eyeball it. You can see where the other holes are. Definitely want to make sure that you get a clean hole in there so that your rope slides perfectly through it. So then you just have four holes on both sides and you're going to do that with all of the pieces that you have. The next step, uh, you're going to want to cut your rope. Uh, it's not an exact science with this, so you're just going to kind of want to uh, use your best judgment. With three pieces, I would say for each side, you probably need about 10 feet. Um, it's best to go over than under because you can always cut off what you don't need at the end. So we're going to cut two pieces about the same length. you're going to take one piece and you're going to find the center. Match up both ends of the rope and pull tight. 
So then you're going to want to go down about four or five inches and you're going to knot it there. This is going to give you a place for your S hook to go so that you can hang it up. Next, you're going to take the end of one, decide what, what diameter you want your, your planters to be apart, and then you're going to feed the string through the top hole, right into the bottom hole. And then you're gonna knot it. You're gonna then connect this piece into the next gutter the exact same way. and then knot the bottom there. The best part about this project is that there really is no right or wrong. You can do it as high or low as you want, and then you're gonna do the same side. The same thing with the, the opposite side. So once you've got it threaded through all the way and all of your knots tied, you're just going to want to cut off the extra rope. The next step is going to be to attach the ends. I spray painted mine to match the color. You could do whatever color you want. Make it something fun. And all you do with this is you slide it on the sides. I have a mallet here. You may or may not need the mallet to kind of tap it in. So once you have all of your ends in, you're all done and you're ready to hang it up. You could put an S hook on the end of each side or you can hang it from a hook that's already hanging. Once you get the dirt in, you can plant any kind of flowers or herbs. It's perfect for homes, apartments, condos. Again, you can get all of these products and tools at your local Great Lakes Ace Hardware. For more DIY and how-to videos, please visit our website at www.greatlakesace.com.